Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. OneNote notebooks can contain sections, section groups, pages, and even subpages. How you choose to use these items is completely up to you and depends on the nature of the information you are collecting and your personal organizational style. You and others, if you are sharing the notebook, must be able to easily locate the information you have stored to effectively use OneNote. Any new notebook you create in OneNote contains one untitled section, New Section 1, and one untitled page by default. To rename the new section to something more descriptive, right-click the New Section 1 tab in the notebook header and choose Rename from the pop-up menu. You can also simply double-click directly on the tab. Once the tab name is highlighted, type a new name and press the Enter key on your keyboard to finish. To create a new section, click on the Create a New Section tab in the notebook header. This is the tab that shows a plus sign on it. Clicking this tab will automatically create a new section, which you can then rename. After you have created and selected a section, you can add pages to the selected section. Remember that OneNote automatically creates one page for you within each section. The default page name is named Untitled Page. You can select this page by clicking its name in the Page Tabs bar. At that point, you will see your cursor blinking in the empty title area within the Content pane. Type the desired page name into the title area in the Content pane and press the Enter key on your keyboard to finish. At that point, OneNote will automatically try to enter a new note on the page. You can either start entering notes or move on to another task. To create a new page, click the Add Page button at the top of the Page Tabs bar and repeat the steps for naming it. After you have typed a name for a page, you can click into the title area within the page and then edit the name to rename the page at any time. You can simply click into the content area of the page to set the new name as the change will be saved automatically. Once you have the sections and pages created, you can easily change the order in which they appear. To move a section within the notebook header, click the Sections tab and drag it to the new location within the notebook header. As you click and drag, you will see a small black triangle appear between the other tabs. Once you have it in the location you want, release the mouse button. To move a page within the Page Tabs bar, you can simply click on the page's name and drag it to a new location in the Page Tabs bar. As you click and drag, you will see a small black line appear between the other page names. Once you have it in the location you want, release your mouse button. To delete a section or page, right-click on its name within the Notebook header or Page Tabs bar and select the Delete command from the pop-up menu that appears. If deleting a section, click the Yes button in the dialog box that appears to move that section to the notebook's recycle bin. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.